Well, hey all, and welcome back. So today we have a special review, the G2 Optimus Prime repaint from the Chaos on Velocitron Toys R Us gift set. So I'm going to do this review a little bit differently. Since I've covered this bot before, and you all may have the original release, I'm mostly just going to do comparison rather than cover transformation and things like that. And here we have Optimus Prime's truck modes. And this is the regular release, and this is from the box set. And let's go ahead and talk about what they went ahead and did right. One of the things being, they painted silver here. They did only do a partial here on the stack, but we did get silver on the smokestack and on the ladder. And that is a nice job of breaking up the truck and adding some detail. They still didn't paint the side window, which would have been nice, though they did paint the front. And they have sort of this interesting fade going on here. The wheels are identical, not painted. And then there's a couple differences, like the, the, the trailer itself is black instead of blue and uh, gray. And then we have uh, this red here instead of the blue... Um, I guess it would be a guard or maybe part of a ladder, something along those lines. Uh, different color, translucent plastic. And then, of course, the huge difference is this sticker. Now, this sticker is the same kind of not-so-great material that this one is. So, it, it's a lot of sticker, and it's sort of like a foil. And I think it might be a thinner material so they can wrap around the curves better. But I'm afraid if you do a lot of transformations, you may see a little bit of wear on the, on the edges of that sticker. If you're careful, you should be okay, but that is just something to be warned about. When we look at the back, and the back here, uh, this gray does go better than the red, how it stands out. Then we've got a little bit different blue here that is juxtaposed with the black of the base here, where this one's all blue. And then on the front, we've got the silver grill on both of them. And they, they did an alright job. I think if I was going to pick either of these as a truck mode, I would probably pick the one on the left. I think uh, I like that a little bit better. It does have that nostalgia from the, the decal and sort of the paint fade and stuff like that. Uh, and plus the extra painted accent. However, I think both are just fine. But yeah, the exclusive did go a couple steps further with a few things. The bigger sticker, the different paint, and a little bit of details. But it's not a huge difference. Now let's go ahead and pop these in jet mode. And so here we have Optimus in his plane mode. And I will say that I think that there are some things about this new repaint that I do prefer. Now, if you look at them next to each other, the rear red cab does not stand out as much. It's still there, but by adding black to the top, uh, even though you have those blue windows there, it's not, uh, it doesn't jut out as much as it does on the original release. Now, the other thing you might notice, if we look inside here, they used a gray plastic on the turbines, and that does look a lot better. Actually, the overall gray look looks better. However, I do really like how they had incorporated this contrasting blue here. And it would have been nice to see something, whether it be the silver painted or something done on here, to utilize those, those panel lines they've, they've extended there. Now, they are using the same decals on the windows, and they're the similar type of foil decal, but they do look a little bit better placed than the rest of the sticker on the figure. This would have been good to use on the actual truck mode windows, and they would have had a side window. So maybe repo labels or somebody comes along and fixes that. So you can see on the sides, we have a different sticker. We have a different overall color scheme, where this one's blue and silver. This one is a gray and black. Uh, this is blue, or this is now red, uh, black lower section. I mean, this does feel a little bit more like a jet. Now, as far as the back goes, so or actually the top, uh, we have a different colored clear plastic here. You can see it's a blue instead of a translucent yellow. And you can also see a difference in the wings. Now, I do prefer the original release's wings, where they've painted the red detail on there. And I think a black or gold or something on here to highlight some of those details would have been a nice touch. But it still looks pretty good as is. Slight improvement as far as planes goes. I mean, it's still a wonky plane design, but it is a triple changer. So we have to give it a little bit more uh, forgiveness on that respect. And then let's just compare the backs, get all the angles. And you can see, yeah, I do think the repaint probably does make a better jet mode. So let's go ahead and get them in a robot mode now. And now we have them in robot mode, but before we jump into the bodies, let's talk about the Titan Masters. So they appear to be the same sculpt as far as the bodies go. This one, the original release, has a silver head and blue feet. The new release has a gray body and a blue head. Now, I do like the original release because it sort of has a diclone uh, feel, or maybe even a uh, Microman because of the silver head. But they're both 
pretty basic as is in robot mode. And then, of course, they have the same posability. Got arm articulation, and then heads rotate, knees, and hips. So, I mean, it's a pretty basic figure, but it's what you get. So, hopefully the camera can pick up the details of these guys. Really kind of tricky to get them because they're so small. And then, of course, you just fold them up into head mode. And so we get a closer look at head mode. Let's see if they're identical. And it does appear they are identical. Now, I will say that the contrast of the light blue does really show the center silver details a little bit better. However, I still, I'm still keen on the original dark blue. This is a really nice sort of light powder blue that they're using, though. I think that'd be kind of a cool color for a car or whatever. So let's go ahead and plug these guys in. First, the original release. And uh, I found it's better to rotate the head backwards on this guy just because of the shape of the Titan Master port. So we lock him in there. And we'll do the same on this one. And I actually prefer the pylons that are on the shoulders be down. But since this is G2 Optimus Prime, I'm moving them up for the review so you guys can see where they're at. Now this is the... Head needs to go in a little bit further. This is the primary mode. And one thing about these, now, even though this is a repaint, this, the joints on this one and the transformation and everything feel a slightly bit tighter than the original release. Um, but as far as the transformation, it's still the same clever transformation. It's just things are a little bit tighter, and I don't know if it's just my two examples are slightly different. It's not a huge difference, but I will say it is a, a slight improvement. But of course we've got some new paint here. And, as we got the heads in there, we still have the same gimmick. You push the, push the abs, and then the side pylons pop up. Now, we can look at what we have. We have, essentially, G1, and then we have G2. And side by side, you can really see where they've made the changes. We've got this decal here that's reminiscent of the... I can't remember if it was Hero Prime or, or what it was, but the G2 Optimus Prime had his name on the chest. We've got a blue grill instead. The powder blue head and feet. Nice gloss painted, uh, gloss black painted legs with some red accents. Of course, the red accents on the side. He still very much looks like Optimus Prime. He's just G2 incarnation. Keeps the same posability head rotation, short articulation, elbow, no hand, but we do have hip rotation, knee, and feet is really not that posable. Uh, it's cut at a slant. And if you just want to see the back as well, you've got that shiny gold sticker on the back of the feet. And this one has the silver one. Um, I do think I'm not entirely keen on the sticker so much, but it's not that big of a deal, especially since you don't see it so much in robot mode. Um, I do really like the nostalgia of this, though. While I am, of course, drawn more to G1 Prime colors, and there's a couple of the, the colors chosen, like where this gold accent is in here, uh, the same with the knees, that I do prefer... I do think this is a really good approach, especially with the, the darker gray they had chosen as the main plastic color. But yeah, this is a cool repaint. You know, it's up to you which one you guys like. But if you're definitely digging the G2 style, definitely hunt on the set. Now let us know below which one's worthy of your collection. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time.